Okay then, so if, uh, if any of you follow the, the social media thing, and um, you might have noticed that on my Facebook page, I'll post a link down to um, the bottom for that, um, I posted a picture of the camera mount and the tripod that the dog had chewed. Um, so I need to make a new mount for my camera, which is actually a mobile phone. I do all my filming with a mobile phone. Um, and I was watching a few YouTube videos, and I'd seen one that Carl Jacobson had made, where he got his on an arm and, and all the rest of it. And I thought, actually, while I'm doing the whole lot, that would be something really cool, because I've got a really convenient um, aluminium beam that runs just above my head, probably out of shot, um, that I could mount it on and then swing it any, everywhere around without it getting in the way. Um, you might also have seen on Facebook that I've been working in a vets recently and I had to cut down some door linings um, because they were too wide for the openings with the plasterboard and the plaster skim and everything. So I've got these about a quarter inch thick strips of pine and when they're all ganged up I thought that would be quite a good way to make an arm without any real faffing around. They're already cut the various lengths. So what I've got is some bolts and some washers and I'll make some little star knobs, wooden star knobs to go on the, uh, the nuts. Hopefully knock up not only a new camera holder, not quite sure how I'm going to film making a camera holder because you'll need to see it while but then I need it for the camera and I'll work something up for that. Um, I do the whole lot in one go. So that's what I'm going to be doing at the moment. This will be the project. So it's a new camera mount, swing arm, Fandango, Super, Hollywood, well, more Pinewood than Hollywood. Um, and we'll see how we get on. So stick around. So I've got now three bits of three and then some spares for middle bits, braces, whatever you want to call it. Um, and all I'm going to do is laminate these together but with an offset so they'll be a bit like a bridle joint um, and then that can mate into the other one and be on the, the pivot arm. Um, Okay, so all I've done here is I've taken the larger piece, marked the centre, and drilled a hole 6mm to take this 6mm coach bolt. Then the other two pieces, I've drilled another two holes through there. What they're going to do is fix onto this plate from below, just with some glue and screws. And then another two bolts will go through those holes and I'll be able to clamp my beam in between the two and just pinch it up to stop it from, uh, from dropping because it will hang on the, on the bolts effectively. And then from this side, the last bit, again, I've marked the, uh, the centre 
drilled a, a six mil hole, but I've also marked the centre lines parallel to the the edges. So that what I can do is mount that onto the the bottom, and that will turn. So then I can mark my hoops on the end of that to take the arm. I could have used the caster um, like Carl did, but I haven't got a caster, but I have got plenty of um, ply and some bolts, so I do the same job. Um. Playing around, um, what I've done is this is the the top and the beam sits in here. I've got a nice little bit of play in uh, in here. And what about what I want to be able to do is just pinch this up tight around the beam snug to stop it from from moving. But the coach boats I've got, the M6 ones, are too short. I've got some longer M8s, and yeah, I could have drilled. Um, drilled these M8 holes and, and no problem at all. But what I've actually, um, the reason I haven't done that is what I've found is, um, I don't know if you remember back to where on my website I changed the bearings on my um, guide bearings on my bandsaw. And I bought a pack of 10 and I only used I think 4 or 5. So uh, what I've done is got an M6 nut, then one of these little bearings and another little M6 nut just to snug up the the centre bush and this still runs nice and freely and that will ride in there along the top of the bar give it a nice smooth because why not eh? Um, and then sometime in the future I'll get some slightly longer M6 bolts it, it holds perfectly well because they're quite um, they're quite snug holes so it's not going to fall out on me so yeah so far I've just got these uh, these knobs, so you need three of those, a nylock, um, some longer coach bolts up there, and then probably cut this down actually, and then mount the, um, the that thing that you, you can't see that I can um, on here. Camera mount, that's it. Okay, so I've got a 3 8 inch or about 10 mil forcing a bit in here, and I've set the depth stop so that it is roughly goes in about the depth of these uh, M6 nuts. So what I'm now through a series of holes roughly in the centre. And then I'll put three holes in there as well. twist bit for these because it centres in the little point left by the, the forstner. So now I can assemble it. Um, I, I decided to round over all the bits on these, and, and I might I might stick a bit of ply on there. I might not. I haven't decided yet. Then 
get this yarn done. Um, probably going to need a little bit of, uh, of modifying in terms of maybe shortening the length of the two long arms and um, maybe putting some abrasive paper um, in the joints to give it a little bit more um, resistance to, to bending because over that distance it does tend to, even though it's only got a mobile phone on the end of it, it does tend to uh, kind of want to sag a little bit. But um, you know, it tilts, it pans, it moves around. Just got to wait for. I've ordered a like a spinny swivel, this kind of affair, swivel ball um, type thing um, off the internet. That's got to come from overseas. Uh, it's only a few quid, so it'll be here in a couple of weeks or so, hopefully. And then I'll uh, I'll finish up the modification on the, the actual mounting the mount to the to the end of the arm to give it all the, the motion. But uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and please do comment if you've got any questions or uh, or improvements. Because um, I mean, it's only really a prototype that's kind of making do, but it fulfils the primary purpose, obviously, of, uh, of getting rid of this tripod and frees up all the space. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.